you, then almost by the time they leave the body, they already cure the bodies. Yasya Hari Dasi Karmana Manasagara Nikilastva Pravastasu. They are already liberated because they are always giving everything to the Supreme Lord. So that is the duty of the parents, make them devotees. <coughs> Otherwise your senses are just like serpents. Mm -hmm. Text 18. Sapatna Vijigi Shamano, Sapatna Vijigi Shamano, Creation in Vishya Yate Tapura, Creation in Vishya Yate Tapura, At Eti Durga Sita Urjitari, At Cheti Durga Sita Urjitari, Sinesukama. One who is situated in household life and who systematically conquers his mind and five sense organs is like a king in his fortress who conquers his powerful enemies. After one has been trained in household life and his lusty desires have decreased, he can move anywhere without danger. So therefore, usually, um, when you are born, you are, your senses are dormant, right, up to like 15, 16 years. Then you go into a stage of Raja, Rajasik, mm -hmm. very passionate uh, time. Unless you are trained from young, it's very hard to control. And even if you are controlled, you can still be disturbed. So, so therefore, that period youth, best is if they can control nicely, they can stay that way. If not, they should be married. Yeah. Then, uh, then for the next 25 years, they remain in household life. Then around 50, around after that, they should take uh, sannyas or vana prastana. <coughs> that is the best way to control your senses. Lord Brahma continued, my dear Prayabrata, seek shelter inside the opening in the lotus of the feet of the Lord whose navel is also like a lotus. Thus conquer the six sense organs, the mind and the knowledge of quiet senses. Accept material enjoyment because the Lord extraordinarily has ordered you to do this. You will thus always be liberated from material association and be able to carry out the Lord's orders in your constitutional position. Well, everybody will say, well, I wish he would yeah, do this. this. <laughs> 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 right? Everyone will say, I wish the Lord will give me that <laughs> blessing <laughs> so I can enjoy and then go back. <laughs> in Bhagavad Gita, we see that material enjoyment and spiritual uh, they, cannot they, they cannot go together, yeah. but here we see that. There is a special case. Lord is saying that you enjoy and then you will also progress. Same with Dhruva Maharaj. Yeah. 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 But he is not going to enjoy. He is going to enjoy. Same with Vishayka. Everybody is giving the same blessing. They are. They will not be able to. They will not be able to. Because they have a different taste actually. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so they can't enjoy. So the same thing, remember Krishna Prabhupada says when you are not qualified he'll take it away. When you're qualified then he'll see you. <laughs> so similarly here, Prabhupada is qualified. He's not going to he's all, in any case he's been given the blessing mm -hmm. that he'll not be under the material energy. He's liberated. He'll always remain liberated. So, in this case, he's just going to do it as a duty. Remember, Sukadev Goswami said, even though he's married, he, he's affectionate to his wife, but he's not really attached. 
So that is the situation here. So in the like third paragraph, Srila Prabhupada writes, our actual duty is to carry out the supreme order of the personality of God. If we are fixed in our determination to carry out the supreme order of the Lord, we are always secure, regardless of where we are situated, whether in hell or in heaven. So we must be fixed in our determination to please the Lord. If you do that, then no matter what our situation is, it will become easy, mm. whatever difficulty is there. So therefore, he also quotes in the previous paragraph that verse, Samasvita ye padra pallava klavo mahat padam punya yasho murahi Right? Padam padam yadvi padam nati shom so so everything becomes like a hoof print of a calf when you become a good devotee. Mm. So there's a difference here. The material enjoyment is different from punya when you get material. Mm. That's different. Yeah? That one you get entangled. Mm. Here you don't get entangled. Because <laughs> this is sanctioned by the Lord yeah. himself. Okay. So one cannot say, actually, I, the, I prayed and the Lord gave me this nice home, nice children, nice... Home. That's nonsense. <laughs> he <laughs> wants me to enjoy. Yeah, he wants to enjoy. Otherwise, why I get all this, right? People <laughs> argue like this. Permission granted. Yeah, permission <laughs> granted. It's not like that. So, Prabhu, can you clarify the difference between affection and attachment? Like, you know, what, how does it manifest? Like, what does it mean? You said he's affectionate, but he's not attached. Yeah, affectionate means to show all the, the loving feelings. Krishna's, oh. love. Krishna's love. But internally, you're not like, uh, uh, you know, this is mine. Okay. Attachment so is, you, you're possessive. So even if that person has leaves the body, the, in the sense, you know, he still continues his service to the Lord. Yes. He doesn't get disturbed and you know, no. No, like, true. But, you know, like, just like... Uh, Archie, when her husband died, see how much she cried. Mm. But after that, she realized, okay, no point, he's my the husband's gone. So I have to continue with my devotional life like that. So similarly, the parent or child or whatever, when their parents die or the child dies, yeah, you cry. But there's a point, you cannot lament, Prabhupada says. You cannot lament about it. The lamentation Archie did was for a short while. Then after that, she realized what the true nature is. So similarly, in the pastime of... Uh, uh, Malaya, Malaya Dwaja, his wife was also crying and the Brahmana came, right? And then he also said the same thing. <laughs> so, attachment is when you cannot give up and then you lament. Mm. Affection is you can show and you can withdraw that also without getting disturbed. Mm. But it doesn't mean you cannot cry mm. for someone you love or so but not to lament yeah, unnecessarily. Mm. So we like, test is our service to the Lord will not be disturbed. Yes. The, the thing is you have to see where Krishna is at the end of it. Right? It's like when the spiritual Prabhupada left, so the devotees cried, they didn't just lament and then and then all just lay down in the <laughs> dam, right? They still travel and preach. <laughs> That's how you should we should do it. So, so they have a lot of affection for Prabhupada and they are doing that and they are attached to Prabhupada also because it's spiritual. Yeah. When it's material then you don't get attached to it. Yeah. Yeah. So that's how we can get un un unentangled from it or we are entangled. Okay? Sri Shikarvacha, Sri Shikarvacha, Sri Samadhi Hito, Mahabhagavata, Bhagavata, Sri Yuvana Guru, Anushasana, Madmano, Lavuta, Yavanata, Shirodaro, Badam, Iti Sabahu, Manam, Kumaha. Sri Shikarvacha Goswami is continued after thus being fully instructed by Lord Brahma, who is the spiritual master of the three worlds, Priyavrata, his own position being inferior, offered obeisances, accepted the order and carried out with great respect. 
Prabhupada says he said, Yes, sir, I shall carry out your order. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no argument, no point, because he is Supreme Brahma Supreme is a Supreme 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 Supreme. first is his great grandfather, or grandfather, and then he is a Mahaja, and then he is he is only reporting from Krishna. <laughs> so he is, what is that argument? <laughs> you know, what, what are you talking about? I, I got no choice. <laughs> and he says. There is no choice. We are also doing, so you have to do, yes. follow the That's what Brahma said. Yeah. So we, there's no question of arguing. Yeah? Yeah. So mm -hmm. you can see the etiquette at that level, higher planetary system, or at the level of the consciousness of Brahma and his uh, followers. So similarly, you, you can we cultivate that kind of sattva guna, very high level consciousness? Yes, yeah, doable. But we have to practice nicely first. These are all Vaishnava etiquettes. So how you, you deal with people, whether you like the order or you don't like, it's always done with respect. Okay? That's something we have to cultivate. You know, because we are all conditioned from so many lifetimes, right? We could have been, uh, in, in, uh, in 10, 20 lifetimes ago, we could have been big, big time uh, rascal, murderers, whatever you can think. And then due to some fortune and maybe some Swami, a uh, uh, great devotee, prayed for us, then we are now in this position. So when we go through difficulties, we have to say what I was doing, you know, that I'm going through this difficulty. So we should always reflect and see, whatever I'm going through is my past. Mm. I've been a big rascal for <laughs> some while I'm going through like this. <laughs> we have to, otherwise you cannot uh, maintain a uh, big balance. You'll go crazy otherwise, right? Look at people outside, they're all crazy. They're popping pills, cannot sleep, pop pills. Get up, have to pop pills because headache. Then go to work, it's terror, right? Every time it's pop pill, popping pill culture, right? <laughs> <laughs> Everything. Uh, yeah, it's true, you know. So this is the way uh, society has become very, very sad. But if everyone has a loving relationship, or if you can see another person as a spirit soul, uh, then it's easier for you to deal with that uh, situation. Mm -hmm. Text 21. Bhagavan abhimanu nāyatāvar rupakalvitāvajitihi priyavrata nārāda yod avishamam avisham vikshamāna yod Atmasam avasanam avan manasam shayam avya vahiritam priyavrat pravartayam agamat Lord Brahma was then worshipped by Manu who respectfully satisfied him as well as he could. Priyavrata and Narada also looked upon Brahma with no tinges of resentment. <laughs> Having engaged Priyavrata in accepting his father's request, <coughs> Lord Brahma returned to his abode, Satyaloka, which is indescribable by the endeavor of mundane mind or words. Interesting, huh? Mm. I mean, look, if, if Shukadeva Goswami don't have to say, like, no dangers or resentment or anything like that, right? But he's saying that because we need to know. Because mm. we okay. don't know how to behave. <laughs> right? <coughs> So after he, uh, Brahma passed the message from the Lord, he went back. And then how is Satyaloka? It cannot be described. <laughs> if you really want to know, you can read the Brihad Bhagavatam. Mm -hmm. okay. There is some description. And Narada Muni is also not worried. He, he accepted because sometimes we want something and then another person wants something and a third person wants something. And then your guru will say, no, follow the other guy. Mm -hmm. Then you feel, why not me, right? Yeah. <laughs> but here Narada didn't think that. He was very happy, satisfied, and he, he didn't tell his disciples, don't listen. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't listen to Brahma, you know, listen to me. <laughs> no such thing. <laughs> Everything is according to a nice Vaishnava relationship. So they respected his desires, the Lord's desires, and that's how we should also act. We may not agree with people, but we should not fight with them. We should respect 
whatever the opinion is right okay so then Prabhupada talks about the duration of the yugas mm. and the length of time Brahma's uh, lifespan is right 33 how long did you live? 33? 3.3 trillion. You all don't know? 4.3 trillion. Trillions? Trillions. 430 or 333? 3 million. 300. 30, okay. 30 million. 30 trillion, yes. And 40 billion. 11 trillion. 11 trillion. 11 trillion. 40 billion. 40 billion. Always the number. There is no Huh? No, there is no way. I was looking here. Okay, no, you all should know this. No? This one, we went through that. You know. Sometimes we forget that. Like so, Prabhupada writes also, and sometimes we devotees in, you know, in Bhagavad Gita, or even in Bhagavatam, it says there's death, birth, that old age in the planetary and material realm. So then here, Prabhupada says, Satya Loka, there's no birth, that old age or disease. Mm. So primarily the devotees, they are all transcendentalists. Right? They are all, they are probably on their last leg. <coughs> yeah. They go back to Godhead or they may still stay back in the next cycle. Like that. So is, is it that they have to wait till the whole universe is yes. the end? Generally, yes. Because it's the end of Rama's day, Rama's then the uh, end of his life, yes. Yeah. And, uh, and it's, uh, it's almost at the age of the covering of the universe. So it's very close to the Brahman Aphrodites. And then above that is uh, Lord Shiva's abode, Kailash, on this side of the universe. And then on the other side of the universe, there's another abode of Lord Shiva. But Mahar Loka and Sadashiva. Isn't that after the Brahma Loka, then there are like layers of these uh, elements? Six uh, very slowly, almost at the age. Mm -hmm. still there is a lot of cover. Right? That is the age. They can penetrate. The <laughs> they can do, not you <laughs> or me. But they they will be granted because they are serving the Lord. They are finished when Brahma is finished, and they are given the permission to go to Vaikuntha plan. Mm -hmm. They just go through. Nothing can stop. So the those who are not qualified get absorbed back into Garbha Dagushna yeah. Vishnu and come back again. Yeah. When they see sky, is it Brahma Jyoti there? <laughs> or no, they can see. We can't see. Yeah. We can't see. Yeah. For them they can For see. For them they can see. They got special glasses. <laughs> 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 So, yeah, so we cannot understand the, the position of those devotees living in Satya Loka or Brahma Loka. Sometimes the terms are interchanged. Mm -hmm. Brahma Loka means we have Brahma stay, but Brahma Loka also could be the spiritual side, Brahma Loka, the Brahman effulgence right there. Text 22. Manurati Pare Naivam Prati Sandita Manurataha Surashi Varanu Mate Ratvanam Akilatana Mandalastiti Vrutaya Astapya Swayamati Vishama Vishaya Visha Jala Saya Saya Uparadama Swayambhu and Manu, with the assistance of Lord Brahma, thus fulfilled his desires. With the permission of the great sage Narada, he delivered to his son the governmental responsibility for maintaining and protecting all the planets of the universe. He thus achieved relief from the most dangerous, poisonous ocean of material desires. <laughs> 
So he didn't want to do those activities. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But earlier when Brahma was saying, it was, as he was saying that this is a Lord's desire and you need to take it up. Yes. But here it says this Because is a desire of Brahma. Because he was taking charge while his son wasn't willing to. Okay. Yes. Okay. He has to be willing to. <laughs> He also has to, you know, do his own duties, so he is doing two duties like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Prabhupada said he was very pleased that Lord Brahma interfered <laughs> <laughs> to take the responsibility. <laughs> so, and Prabhupada explains why Swami Bhuva Manu is happy. He says, Swami Bhuva Manu, however, appears to have been in charge of the entire universe. And he entrusted to his son Maharaj Prevrata the responsibility for maintaining and protecting all the planetary systems. Dara Mandala means planet. This earth, for instance, is called Dara Mandala. Akila, however, means all or universal. So it is therefore difficult to understand where Maharaj Prevrata was situated. Mm. Okay? In the Burloka, right? But mm. you don't know where. But he was meditating in Gandhamadana here. <laughs> so then in the next paragraph, again Prabhupada says, Swayam Bhava Munu took great satisfaction from negating the responsibility for ruling all the planetary systems of the universe. At present, politicians are very eager to take charge of the government. <laughs> They engage their men in canvassing. from door to door to get votes. <laughs> so it means you should retire from those things at a certain age. Yes. Everything. Yeah? Yes. Even, the, even in the, our own temple also. You can only run for a certain while. But after 50 years or what, you should train someone else to take over those responsibilities like that. Okay. I think Gandhamadhan is about where Bhima was trying to go. I, I think he mentioned in the Ramayana. Yeah. Ramayana, yes. 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 That one I know. Yeah, I don't know where exactly it is. There's a Bhima dress to say it's another just... Oh yeah. really? I, I have not read that. I don't know. It's a board of Kubera. That mm. is near Kailash, no? Yeah. So no, but yes. I don't think that's... Mm-hmm. In the Madan Parvita. So doing this universal affairs is uh, compared to an ocean of poison. <laughs> Because you have to deal with so many material things and you have to, you know, all kinds of opulence and as well as difficult situations and so on. Uh, therefore, uh, Swambhu Manu was like, no, no, I don't want this. So he, he was relieved. Was Otherwise he had to go and take care of so many things. Everyone will come, right? When your Guru Maharaj comes, everyone goes and complains, right? So it's like that. <laughs> oh, this guy not doing it, that guy not doing it, who's not running this, who's not, <laughs> right? This demigod is not doing his job, that will <laughs> So many problems. Like how should the proper also retire from management? Yeah, he kept saying, I don't want to manage. You, know, mm-hmm. you please let me do my translation. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Yeah, so in any case, Prabhupada says Narada was also very pleased, right? Because he taught, Manu, Swayambhu Manu took permission from Narada, and Narada said yes. So in the last paragraph, he writes, this is particularly mentioned because although Narada wanted Priyavrata to become free from all material affairs, when Priyavrata took charge of the universe by the request of Lord Brahma and Manu, Narada was also very pleased. So effectively everyone is pleased. Mm-hmm. So nobody goes home uh, angry and then they complain to the wife or something. <laughs> you know, these guys, they didn't listen to me, what is going to happen? Not like that. No? You can see this is how we have to come to this standard. Business is done, leave it in the office. Don't bring it home like that. Text 23. Iti ha bhava sa jagati pati ishwaracca yadini veshikya karma vikaro kila jagat bandha dvamsana varanu bhava sya bhagavata adi purusha shangri yuvarana varata dhyananu bhavena kapa
Following the order of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Maharaja Priyavrata, fully engaged in worldly affairs, yet he always thought of the lotus feet of the Lord, which are the cause of liberation from all material attachment. Although Priyavrata Maharaj was completely freed from all material contamination, he ruled the material world just to honor the orders of his superiors. There's another difference here. He's not doing it because he wants to do it. <laughs> he's doing it because he was ordered to do and he's doing it as a matter of duty and service. Because he has, he's liberated, pure devotee. He's not interested in all this thing anymore. But to set example, he's doing it. Okay? Next, 24. Atacha, Duhitaram, the Jata de Vishwakarunana, Upayemi, Parishmatim, Nama Tasyam Buha, Bava Atmajan, Atma Samanam, Shilaguna Karma Rupa, Vivyodara, Dasha Bavayam, Babuva Kanyamcha, Yaviyashim, Ujaswatim Nama. That's her name, huh? Thereafter, Maharaj Priyavrata married Varhismati, the daughter of the Prajapati named Vishwakarma. In her, he begot ten sons equal to him in beauty, character, magnanimity, and other qualities. He also begot a daughter, the youngest of all, named Ujaswati. Yeah, so he took the whole thing, uh, task seriously, and he also started a family um, and all f to show example now you know, he's doing it as a matter of duty Papa writes in the last paragraph sometimes we are criticized because although I'm a sannyasi I've taken part in the marriage ceremonies of my disciples because <laughs> he had to do nobody was qualified it must be explained however that since we have started a Krishna conscious society and since a human society must also have ideal marriages, to correctly establish an ideal society, we must take part in marrying some of its members, although we have taken to the path of renunciation. So you can see, he is only doing it out of duty, duty or to set example. He is not at all uh, attached or <laughs> interested. <laughs> so therefore he says, this may be astonishing to persons who are not very interested in establishing Deva Varnashram. So he cuts those people down in one sentence. <laughs> Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, however, wanted to re establish Deva Varnashram. Now, when he says Deva Varnashram, it's centered yes. around Krishna. Yes. Generally, Varnashram, the word is so falsely used, uh, there's no Krishna in it. In Daiva Varnashrama, there cannot be acknowledgement of social status according to birthright because in Bhagavad Gita he said that the determining considerations are guna and karma, one's ability, qualities and work. So Prabhupada really wants this. Huh? It is this Daiva Varnashrama that should be established all over the world to continue a perfect society for Krishna consciousness. This may be astonishing to foolish critics, but it is one of the functions of a Krishna conscious society. That's another thing he wanted as them. <coughs> now, like I say, you, as you raise your family, you, you are actually doing Deva Varnashram, because you can identify your child, whether he is in this level, whether he's a Brahminical tendency, Shudra tendency, whether she is Brahminical, Kshatriya, like that. You, you can tell, and then you help by helping them uh, take up that uh, which is close to their nature. You know? Otherwise, the average Indian kid you ask, what do you want to be? Doctor. <laughs> <laughs> and then 20 years later, they're not even doctor. 
Prabhu, this is coming from us because we were told that there are two options That's available. Right. So Dr. somehow or other, you know? after the Britishers handed <laughs> over the India, the, the culture collapsed and everybody only thinks of... Before that, at least they used to say, engineer, doctor, lawyer. Mm. Then uh, in the 21st century, it's only doctor. Yes. This 22nd century. The earlier it was like in, when I was studying it was civil engineer. Civil engineer. <laughs> 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 then <Yes>. chemical engineer. <laughs> chemical <laughs> engineer. <laughs> then computer science. <laughs> yeah. And who do you they think will textile, do all the other work? Textile. Hmm? <laughs> textile. One time it was textile. <laughs> right? <laughs> textile engineering was a big thing. Mm -hmm. I remember one uh, family kids. Uh, I mean, I didn't speak to them, but they said to another devotee that both of them, son and daughter, became doctors. They got good jobs. But then the guy tells always to the devotee, I hate my job. <laughs> and my parents force me. I don't like it. I'm never happy. <laughs> yeah. It's, a, it's amazing when you, when they grow and then they experience in this world, they're not happy. They say, I actually want to run a, a what is that? A cake shop. Restaurant. <laughs> right there. Yeah, restaurant, <laughs> cake shop. Yeah, I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't they yeah, do but, it? Now but you know, it's like they feel that they can't do anymore yeah. because of the way they've forced it. Huh? Now they have money. As a doctor, they would yeah. have earned money. So they can just switch over. Who knows what's going on in such people, right? It's always damaged. Yeah. Right? Psychologically damaged goods. <laughs> so the grass on the other side of the screen. Yeah, man, yeah, it's true. When you are a billionaire and you are not happy, you look at the beggar in the street and say, I wish I was like you. Beggar. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, that the sage who looked at the the, the mouse, right? He said, become mouse again, right? <laughs> Text 25. Atmi Dredma Jiva Jatna Bahu Mahavira Hiranya Reto Vika Prishta Savana Meda Titri Viti Hotra Kavaya Iti Sarva Evadmi Namanaha The ten sons of Maharaja Priyavrata were named Agni Dra Itma Jiva Yatna Bahu, Mahavira, Hiranyareta, Gritha Prista, Savana, Medati Ti, Viti Hotra, and Kavi. These are also names of Agni, the fire god. Hmm. Text 26. Ete Shankavi Mahavira. Savana iti kraya asan udvare tasasta atma vidya yam arga bhava arabya krita parichaya paramahansyam evasramam avajan. Once you read Bhavat's uh, thing along there, you know already what it means, right? Mm -hmm. That guy already raised, uh, become celibate. <coughs> raised his semen. Seven. Three among these ten, namely Kavi, Mahavira, and Savana, lived in complete celibacy. Mm -hmm. Urda, Vetasa, that's mm -hmm. what it is. Thus trained in Brahmachari life from the beginning of childhood, they were very conversant with the highest perfection known as the Paramahamsa Ashram. So you, some of his children became pure devotees, so they took to the life of like sannyas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so from very young they are trained like that. This is Vedic culture. They train all their children to be celibate, mm -hmm. both boys and girls. All they do is brahmachari life means listen to Vedic knowledge. Mm -hmm. And then they are taught how to use it. Simply by hearing and uh, they know how to behave already. Mm -hmm. So that's a uh, standard in those days. Okay. Text 
senses and thus became great saints. They concentrated their minds always upon the lotus feet of the Supreme Personality of God here, who is the resting place of the totality of living entities and who is therefore celebrated as Vasudeva. Lord Vasudeva is the only shelter of those who are actually afraid of material existence. By constantly thinking of his lotus feet, these three sons of Maharaj Priyavrata became advanced in pure devotional service. By the prowess of their devotional service, they could directly perceive the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who is situated in everyone's heart as the Super Soul, and realized that there was qualitatively no difference between themselves and Him. Nice, sir. Eh? In the Prabhupada, Prabhupada talks about the different classes of sannyas. There are four stages. So we all should know this. Kuti Chaka, Bahuda, Kapari, Raja, Pacharya, and Parama, Hamsa. So please go and read that. In his other wife, Maharaj Priyavrata, we got three sons named Uttama, Tamasa, Raivata. All of them later took charge of Manvantara millenniums. Hmm. They're going to so come. They, huh? They're going to come. Yeah, so they took over the becoming Manu, so they were selected. They didn't describe about the other sons, the ten sons, right? No, maybe later on. I do not know. <laughs> We're still talking about the uh, Triavrata, X29. Eva Mupashamaya Neshu Swatana Yeshu Ata Jagati Patin Jagatin Arbudani Etadasha Parivat Sarana Avya Hataki Purushakara Sara Sangrit Dordanda Yugalati Dita Morvi Unaskanita Miramida Dharma Prati Akshobhadhishnatyas Chanudinam Hiramana Pramoda Prasarana Yoshinya Vida Pramusita Asavaloka Ruchirakshvevi Adibihi Parabhulyamana Viveka Yivanava Bhutyamana Yivamahamana Kubuje After Kavi, Mahavira and Savana were completely trained in the Paramahamsa stage of life. Maharaj Priyavrata ruled the universe for 11 Arbudas of years. Whenever he was determined to fix his arrow upon his bowstring with his two powerful arms, all opponents of the regulated principles of religious life would flee from his presence in fear of the unparalleled prowess he displayed in ruling the universe. He greatly loved his wife, 
but his mati. And with the increase of days, the exchange of nuptial love also increased. By her feminine behavior, she dressed herself, walked, got up, smiled, laughed, and glanced about. Queen Barhismati increased his energy. Thus, although he was a great soul, he appeared lost in the feminine conduct of his wife. He behaved with her just like an ordinary man, but actually he was a great soul. <laughs> So, from ordinary point of view, he was behaving just like a normal person. Mm. But actually, he is a Paramahansa himself. Yeah? And his wife was so qualified, so she wasn't trying to do any nonsense. Yeah? Okay. One Arbuda is a million, hundred million years. Mm -hmm. So, he is like a demigod. Yeah, they are on the other planet. Swayambhu, Manu, all on the demigod. They are, they are demigods. So he did it for 11 such Arbudas. Mm. So that's like a trillion years. Mm. <laughs> that's a long time. Can't consider it. So we'll stop here. Yeah, I'll do that too long, so. <laughs>